Like I'm here. Okay, break the music. Okay, hello everyone. Okay, is that better? Oh, my volume is really low. Right. For some reason, uh, the Resident Evil stuff was really low, or a lot for that. Okay. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm starting an hour early today. Uh, we have some. Uh, we have an appointment at seven per se. Uh, it's with our landlady, so we don't really have a choice. So uh, instead of, uh, you know, making this have to run shorter than an hour, I'm gonna at least give it an hour. So I started at five instead, so yeah. Hmm. I'm hoping to go to like 6.30, but we'll see, anyways. So uh, today I am working on a Patreon reward, or a Patreon reward, a Patreon poll. Um, last month's theme was uh, Father, and no surprise, the winner was uh, Hughes from FMA. Hello, Taibu! Uh, no, this is only for today. Uh, basically, uh, the landlady wants to come at seven, so I was just like, I if I start at six, it would be, be like hard pressed to be ready and everything, and I just don't wanna force it. So I'm like, I'll just do it an hour early. I mean, I guess if everyone ends up really liking this time. Are we telling her what? Oh, yeah, she, she knows. That That's why uh, she's been uh, trying to uh, come over, like, has been here so often anymore. The thing! Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Wong is the one who, who doesn't want to talk about it online, so I am just behaving. You're running while typing? What are you doing? Are you doing ring fit? I, I made the mistake of doing ring fit today. Um... Because I'm not, oh, elliptical. Ellipticals are fun. But yeah, I was like, I should work out today. Even though I boxed a lot and my knee was uh, bothering me. But I'm like, it's okay. It'll be fine. Guess what? It was not fine. And then uh, I was like, it'll be okay. We don't have a lot of Akiba soul. And then suddenly pre-orders came in. So I had to go run and get those. By which I mean... My mother assisted, and I sat in the car. <laughs> it should, shouldn't it? I like that. That's a great idea, Twaifu. Make sure you suggest that to him. He's actually out mowing the lawn right now.
So he got his own rubber chicken. I don't know if uh, you knew that. He he got it this uh, past weekend. But uh, it's it was uh, from Daiso or uh, Hello Tokyo, which is basically Daiso. But anyways, um, it's a uh, kind of sticky. So I've been jokingly calling it his sticky cock. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he's like, I can bonk you now, which basically just ended up last night as us in a chicken war. Don't worry, Twifu, you too can get your own chicken for $2 at, at Daiso. We are actually trying to figure out, we were going to cook tonight, but it's like, uh, can we? Will we have time? I don't know what we're doing for dinner. We were talking about that just earlier. It's funny because my, uh, my mother brought it up too. She's like, what are you guys doing for dinner tonight? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, maybe I'll cook some pasta. And then I was like, crap, I can't use my kitchen. Hi, Ranafe. Yeah, we have some frozen stuff here, but... Oh, Ranafe, did they get the water and everything back? I forgot to ask. I was going to actually uh, say something because I was out your way, obviously. I had class uh, yesterday. I mean, I'm out your way all the time. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm always going to draw the kids sleeping. I don't want to draw it. Oh, that's good at least. Because I know Kid has the same kind of stuff going on too, where it's like, like I've literally been at her place and we're getting ready to go and like, suddenly like the water's off or, um, well, like I haven't been there when they've locked her in, but you know, it's like, even when we went, we went back uh, after the bar next to her place caught on fire and we went back to grab some of her stuff. Like they were like, oh, all your power's on. They were wrong. It was not. We were having to use like flashlights in her bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I, I wish there was a, uh, like, stricter, like, policies for that. I mean, like, obviously they need to do work and that's fine. But for anything, it's like, just tell your freaking tenants. That's all you have to say is, hey, I need to do some work or, hey, I have to, like, turn this off or whatever. Not that hard. I don't want to make it look like he's eating her hair, but... I can't believe how few laws there are actually like protecting against that. And of course, uh, Indiana has some of, I don't know, that's really dumb. Well, like in a case like that too, if they're really worried, like why not just have, it's not like there's that many buildings or whatever. Just have somebody go by and put flyers in their mailboxes. Don't even have to go into the build, like, you know, that far into the building. And black and white flyers are cheap, man. I think it just mostly irritates me because I'm like, I, I, I just think that if I was like a person being somewhat responsible for other people, hi Blade Corpse, quack, quack, quack to you too. Like, why would you be so like, oh no, it's fine. We're gonna let them like, you know, I don't know. I, I just feel like common decency. That's right, people don't have that. Yeah, 
Especially if they have like the email, if you guys, because you guys have an email system, right? I don't know how it works with every one. Well, see, that's why like it's even worse with kittens because I'm like, she's one person renting. How hard is it to freaking contact one person to be like, hey, ooh. Uh, two cons got hit with COVID? Yeah, that. This is why I'm like, I don't want to go to cons. Not yet. I mean, I want to go to con. Hugging? Dude, it's a guy and his daughter. Oh my God. <laughs> she clearly is a little baby. <laughs> Please do not ship this. No, yeah, because I had a, I had some friends who were like, oh, what do you mean you're not like running stuff at Ramen Con this year? And I was like, no, I'm not going. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Talithar. You're allowed to be dumb. It's okay. I don't know. It's hard to find, you know, understand sarcasm on the internet, which I think you all know. I'm still kind of hoping um, that they end up putting uh, like a more, um, what are they called? Mandates back in place? I mean, I can dream. Just because I'd like the cons to get. Uh... Yeah, emotes go are good for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you need any masks around FA, let me know. We have some extras here too. Uh... Wong's mother sent us a bunch, and we don't typically use a lot of disposable. We actually ended up donating a lot of uh, uh, them to uh, some of the local hospitals, like same with the gloves, like back when the pandemic first hit, because we're like, we don't need these. But, you know, they do. Okay, cool. Just saying. Yeah, like, I honestly would have love to go because I could use the money. Ooh. Yeah, we're even less tall there. Hi, Firearm. I think we're like, what, like 37% vaccinated here. <laughs> Pretty awful. And that's another thing that makes me so nervous when I have like friends uh, that are like, oh no, it's fine. And like, no, no, it's not. Hey, you won some Happy Meals, yay! Oh, yeah, for a while, like everyone was wearing masks and now it's even in this area. It's like, no, come back, bring back the mask, please. Wow, yeah. Hi, Piplup. I actually draw a lot to our other artist streams, so I did the same thing all the time. Well, like, I mean, I've been fully vaccinated since March, which first off, uh, they, they were talking about how potentially, um, the vaccine might only last six months. So obviously my six months is coming up pretty soon. Um, but also um, I, because of, I have autoimmune issues. Um, when they were doing like the task groups for uh, the vaccine and stuff, obviously they, they uh, tend to uh, like leave that group out on purpose. But that basically means I have no idea how effective it is for people like me. <laughs> I get the flu vax every year. I already told my doctor to that um, if there is any kind of booster, let me know like ASAP, I will get it. Stab me, shoot me up. <laughs> uh, they're actually, they are doing uh, studies right now on how autoimmune and the vaccine work though. So I've been following them. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'm going to assume it's probably going to be like, I, I'm guessing it's probably going to be more like a booster every year where we're not going to like, you know, with uh, where we needed the two shots originally, we're only going to need like one, but we'll see. I mean, to be fair, um, 
Oh, okay. You, well, I can't. I, I literally cannot get Johnson & Johnson. Um, so I don't know if you guys actually had read about the things that made uh, the Johnson, like uh, some of those women have uh, blood clots or whatever. Um, well, <laughs> I, I meet all of the requirements that cause people to have them. So yeah, I, I couldn't get it even if I wanted it. I had Pfizer though. Pfizer was fine. I didn't have any side effects or anything, so. But yeah, I mean, I know plenty of people who had Johnson & Johnson had no issues, but uh, like I said, I'm pretty much high risk all the time, so. So please get vaccinated for me. I actually know a friend who, uh, I had a little arm soreness, but it was like how I get with the flu shot, which I think is why I'm just kind of like, this is completely normal and I wrote it off. Yeah, yeah, I, that makes sense. Oh, that's just it. I basically was like, um, okay, um, I'm high risk. Uh, uh, my father who I don't see super often, but I do see my mother who lives with him pretty often because she helps with uh, me take packages because she has the van. Um, he's a two-time cancer survivor. Two different types of cancer. Ah, that's why movie safe. Um, I don't have the best relationship with my dad, but yeah, he he went through a lot, and it did change him a bit as a person. So I get along with him better now, for the most part. Although he did, you know, cost $600 of damage to my car. Yeah, in that regard, he's... he's yeah, he had, um, what is it, uh, blood cancer, I think? And then, um, which they used an experimental treatment, but it worked. It's been how many years since that? Because that was back when I was in high school. God, that's been like, what, 20 years now? Probably a little less than that, but still. I'm old. Okay, I think that looks good for the sketch. It looks like the characters. Oh, no, no. I think it's great that he was able to survive for sure. Like, I don't want him dead. God, no. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I might be violent, but I'm not the kind who goes around being like, let's murder people. Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> but yeah. And then he had uh, prostate cancer more recently. That, that was actually only a couple years ago, but he's been in remission from that too. I like murder. I really like crime shows. <gasps> I want to play more murder mystery video games, but I don't know which ones to do. If you guys ever have any recommendations, let me know. Nothing like a good murder. I'm unsure if I would like the Danganronpa series, but I still want to try it. So uh, I have it in my Steam wish list, and I figure one of these days when it goes really cheap, I might buy it. I tried to win it, but I didn't. Um, I'm okay with Among Us. I do like being the imposter though. You're not wrong about that. If you have the right kind of people, Among Us is great, but I've also played with groups of people where it wasn't as fun. I like the I like the ones where I play with people like where you got one person who's super logical and trying to like logic the whole thing and everyone else is just dumb. I keep forgetting. Sorry, my uh, emotions are hit to my number pad and I just touched my number pad. <laughs> yeah, ma. Uh, Duncan Rome, I had always heard a lot about, and uh, I, I've gotten commissions for several of the characters, so I'm familiar with them. Plus, working at a figure store now, uh, I deal with a lot of it. I say working, but technically, it's just helping out my fiance with his. Speaking of, because we got packages from a distributor today, I had to go pick up, uh, aka my mother let me, my mother drove me so we could put them in her van. But they shorted us a figure again, third time out of three. Uh, they're using a secondary um, 
like logistics company to help because they are really understaffed right now and this company is crap. Two time, the first two times they sent us something else instead of the figure. This time they didn't send us anything extra. They just didn't send us the figure. I mean, at least it's a pop-up parade this time, which versus the other ones, it's the easiest one to be able to get again if we had to. It's just like, still, please stop, stop. All right. I just had to get that off my chest. I wanted to rant. Yeah, I don't know too many horror mystery, uh, like uh, murder, like murder mystery games. I played some of the Sherlock Holmes ones for Steam. Uh, that was long before I was streaming. Although I still have a couple that I haven't done, so maybe one day I can do those on stream. I also was gifted one hand clapping, so I have to do that one at stream at some point too. In fact, I was asked, "Have you considered playing this game?" And I was like, "Yeah, why? Yes, it's on my Steam wish list." And then I got the response, "No, no, it's not." And I was like, "God damn it!" And sure enough, they bought it. I want to try that one though it looks fun i don't know if you guys have noticed but i have not been doing a lot of solo games right now okay rana Fay, good luck with your stream i'll probably lurk on it later but uh if you're not familiar with one hand clapping it's like you use like your voice to play so obviously as somebody who loves to sing it was up my uh alley we'll see how it is I haven't installed it yet though. But yeah, I, I'm just the type where I really like collabs and collab streams and co-op games, so I tend to play more of those. I haven't actually done uh, anything besides game collabs in a while though. Well, I take that back because uh, I did uh, technically, I guess it would be a uh, karaoke collab or yeah, with uh, Rana Fey. Uh just, you know, a couple weekends back. I did a bunch of those art collabs way back in the day, too. I gotta set up more. I've just been uh, too nervous to approach other people I found that I'm like, I could do this. And then I'm like, nope. I've also got two other um, people that I've been talking to about doing it with. Aw, oh, that sucks. But hey, as long as you're having fun, Blade Corps. And then hopefully you can get some of the games that we play so we can play together too sometimes. It seems like I know a lot of people who have Left 4 Dead and we've been doing the Resident Evil mods, but there's other mods and I haven't actually played the original game in so long. I'd be willing to do the whole thing over again too. As long as I can be Rochelle so I can be 2B. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the process of building a PC. Um, I was going to wait until September, but they came out with that Zaku special edition. And I was like, I kind of love this, but it's really expensive. And then Wong was like, hey, it's an early birthday present. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> so I got pieces of it for that. And then there was another set, another part of pieces. And I was like, wow, this is really cool too. And he's like, early Christmas present. So I'm like, that's good. Don't buy me anything else this year. So. Uh, the, right now, um, I have the base, the uh, monitor, the, uh, well, our anniversary already passed, so he can't do early anniversary. But I have the base, the monitor, um, the motherboard. I'm missing the, unfortunately, the hardest, hardest thing to get is the graphics card, as I'm sure you all know. So, uh, yeah, it, it won't be probably coming along that soon. I, I've been a uh, part. I've been taking part of the New Egg Shuffle every year. Every year, wow! Every day, <laughs> trying to get a mother a, a, a graphics card. I'd really like to get an Nvidia one of some sort. I don't care what brand or whatever. I just I, I prefer Nvidia to uh, uh, AMD. Although uh, for streaming purposes, AMD is not bad. Yes, every day I'm shuffling, and I started saying shuffling off to Buffalo. And Wong, as usual, doesn't understand half my phrases. So now he's just shuffling, he's like, I'm shuffling like a buffalo. And I was like, I'm just gonna let him say that. It's close enough. Speaking of that, uh, some of you guys might've missed this on the stream last night that I brought this up. But so uh, the other day when we went to meet up with Kitten and her boyfriend, um, 
we were talking about raising like raising kids and parenting and stuff and i was talking specifically about like we were talking about how to make sure that our you know, that kids don't become racist and um i jokingly said which i guess is only partially a joke it's i do not like racist people or racism at all i'm definitely a everyone should belong kind of thing but um yeah so i said that if our kid ends up racist i'm gonna put them over my knee now what do you guys all think that means I've been asking like everyone this. <laughs> I asked my mom this the other day too. Yeah, generally when you hear over the knee, you think spanking. I don't actually believe in spanking, but um, I just was like, that's I'd like, I don't know. That'd have to be, that would be extreme punishment for sure. If they know better, if they're young and don't know better, it's just, you know, correct them so it doesn't happen again. But um, anyways, so what Wong thought I meant is apparently he thought of the scene or one of the comics of Batman where all the villains get uh, released or whatever. And so Batman gets them all back into jail, but he's like exhausted. And so then um, Bane, I think it was, takes him over his knee like backwards. So he's like, you know, has him with his back over it and breaks his back. So that, that's what uh, Wong thought I was going to do to our child <laughs> that we don't actually have. We have cats. But yeah, so I was like, when he was like, that seems a little cruel. I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, I don't really agree with spanking either. And he's like, what spanking? That you're going to break the back? <laughs> yeah, that's what he thought. So that's what he thinks over the knee means. I've been finding some really great things that he knows wrong. I enjoy teaching him really bad phrases, guys. That's okay. He's teaching me uh, onomatopoeias and uh, uh, Cantonese. So that's all I'm going to do. But you have a great day too, Talther. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, no, please don't break your children's backs. I just think that's funny. It's also kind of interesting what a culture difference of just being uh, grown up in two different parts of the U.S. is. Honestly, um, I love etymology and linguistics, so uh, I'm all for like wordplay and understanding that kind of stuff. So we talk about that stuff a lot. Oh, because we were talking about computers earlier, for those of you guys who didn't know, I stream on a laptop. He's kind of a beast for being a four-year-old laptop, but, you know, he works. I like him. He's a good boy. I smell grass. Like, actual grass. Probably because Wong is out mowing our lawn. I hurt my knee again today. I have a brace. I'm trying not to move too much, but I had to do some this morning. I also was stupid because I got, yesterday was hurting pretty bad. And this morning I got up and it's like, oh, it's not that bad. So I was like, you know what? Let's work out. That obviously helped my knee. I have to have a brace now. I was talking to somebody else about it too, um, because um, I, I guess a lot of, uh, well, autoimmune is a weird thing to begin with, but I have some extra addition uh, things on top of it. Like, so I actually have a bone tumor in my um, left leg, which is the one that's uh, hurting today. Um, it's weird because, uh, it's inside the kneecap area and they're like, um, basically it hasn't grown any. And as long as it doesn't really bother me or stop me from walking, which so far it hasn't, it's fine. 
But I feel like because of that, this leg, I don't know if it's because of that or what, but my left leg is really susceptible to injury. It's the one that I dropped that box of books on um, years ago and still hurts. And uh, they basically are like, your body thinks it's perma shin splint. So yeah. I am medically a mess, guys, don't worry. I swear I will be fine, maybe. I'm learning how to handle the pain and everything and learning what my limit, my new limits are and things. I talk, I, I have a rheumatology appointment tomorrow too, so. I get to talk over with him. I have a new rheumatologist, kind of. It's a weird situation. My other one was a fellowship, so she graduated, but this is the one who oversaw her, I guess, or whatever, but I had met him before and he'd looked over me before, so I'm like, it's fine, I'll just go with him. Same office, I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, wow, that's a horrible one. I've honestly been working on those kiosks all day today, which is why there's not much done on this. I need to get all the pages done for volume. What volume am I on even? 14? to have it all done by and like near the end of September so I don't have to worry about it but we'll see I got two chat I didn't realize I had two chapters beyond this to go and I'm like oh my god I wish I could get an assistant let's get the good day Notice there's definitely been an increase with webcomic artists not doing everything themselves, and I don't blame them. I feel like at least with like uh, screen tone stuff, it's a little easier because I can BS it easier, I guess. Although I still sometimes BS some of the color stuff. Ooh, excuse me. Zoe's kiosk is just the pain because of uh, how much it is. Sorry, I'm being bad and uh, responding to a wine message I got. I was talking to a friend earlier and I always want to check up on her and she just responded, so. She had some, um, a bit of a really rough time recently, so. I feel like a lot of people have and it really sucks. today in the discord we all started talking about tacos and I've been craving tacos all day I don't have the stuff here to make tacos I mean I always like fries we all know that actually I'm pretty easy about food I like most food there's very little I won't eat I remember um, my second year as a student in Japan, um, well, second summer, because I went there for two summers to study. Um, I went out with my host. My host uh, mother was uh, taking classes at my college too. So we met up after her classes were over and they were like a bunch of, uh, I guess like housewife aged women um, also like taking English or whatever. So of course they're like, oh yeah, let's all go out to lunch together. So I went with them and we went to, um, like a restaurant on campus and they like do you want the chicken or the or do you want the beef or the fish and i always prefer like seafood over i'm not a huge fan of beef i'll eat it uh, i like burgers and i also learned that i do really like ribeye steak but i i grew up eating really uh low cuts of beef and so therefore i i have like not the best impression of it taste wise anyways i was like i'll go with the fish i like fish um, they gave me a fish that still had its, uh, its head on, and I was like, how the hell do I eat this? 
And so I was like, well, I'm just gonna pick around its rib cage and its bones with my chopsticks and eat what I want. And like one of the ladies was like, wow, you're so skilled with chopsticks. And I was like, I just don't want to eat the bone. I don't know what I'm doing. I've also used chopsticks since I was like 12. Actually, probably longer than that. Yeah, it would have had to have been longer because gosh, that would have been like eight. I was like, when was I in fourth grade? Well, hello, cat by my foot. Arad is here, guys. I just realized Kana's here, too. She's sitting in the chair next to me. Mm. This is my least favorite part of this stuff. Line arts. I like the coloring better. I just thought it would be boring for you guys to watch Zoskia, me work on Zoskia, so I like, oh, I should probably get this done anyways. It's already August, which means July stuff is due. I already let the people uh, who won stuff for July know, so I'm sorry if you didn't hear anything, you did not win. Don't worry, every month there's a chance. I'm actually thinking of doing something uh, a little different too for this month too because uh, this will be the last chapter of uh, the first the first book of uh, my light novel. Ah! Thank you for the follow! Yeah, so I'm thinking I might give away the original like as a like doesn't matter what tier you're in kind of thing as long as you're a tier uh, as a giveaway thing so you can have the original. I'm still really behind on coloring the stuff for the later tiers, but nobody's in that tier right now, so I'm like, I, I need to not let myself fall, stay too far behind. But right now, my priority has definitely been those guests again. I'm gonna just ink his ear randomly because it's here. I don't know, ears are weird. They kind of look like... I don't know what they look like. I'm thinking about elephant ears. I God, I'm really hungry. And I can't even eat until after seven. Probably closer to eight. And it's not even six yet. How dare my landlady keep me away from food. the rest of her hairline, shouldn't I? I used to do a lot of Full Metal Alchemist fan art back in the day, so it's kind of weird that I've done, for the last two rewards, have been Full Metal Alchemist again. Because last month was Mother, and somehow Izumi got it. I was like, oh, okay. I'm not complaining. I was just like, wow, well, that's... I don't know who it says is the best mother of all anime. I like to think uh, one of my favorite mothers, though, is the uh, the mother of the main guy in uh, Bokugai and Aimachi, which was uh, released as Erased in the U.S. That is a good mom. You see so many times when you have deadbeat parents in animes that I appreciate it when they don't. Of course, you also have lots of dead parents. I've been uh, playing uh, Tales of Historia. Um, for a while now, but they just released uh, in one of the newest updates, they finally released Orin, and so we're getting to see his backstory. And as soon as his wife came in, I'm like, oh no, she has dead mom here! And I'm pretty sure I know what happens, based on the hints that they've dropped throughout the uh, 
campaign plus the uh i was i follow them on both the english and japanese twitter because i don't know how to do one i i do have tales of arise pre-ordered that one will be fun uh i hadn't really watched too much of the stuff coming out about it i was just like new tales game that's all i need uh wong let me put it on his credit card until i could pay it off so i could get the special edition version <laughs> Not that I think it was prepaid, but I don't actually know. Uh, it's on his card. I'll pay him back. One day. One of the worst things about being an artist who uh, re who, who relies on uh, online income is you have to wait for stuff to clear. I keep being like, Patreon, give me my medals now. I have bills to pay. I used to um, not also ask for a lot of prepay for commissions and I've had to stop, start doing that too. Um, I still like to ask for only 50% up front, depending on it. Um, it really depends on who it is and what the commission is. Um, but simply put, if I can do like a quick sketch really fast for the base, I don't ask for, I only ask for 50% uh, up front or uh, none up front, depending on how well I know the person. And if I think they're reliable. Sorry guys, I need to get paid. But remember, artists can't live off of exposure, contrary to what people like to tell you. But yeah, like the really big piece, really big pieces especially, I don't ask, for, I only ask for 50% down up front. And then I ask for the rest of it before I finish coloring it. Or before I color it, I should say. But like really small ones, it's usually a lot easier to ask for it up front. Like, dude, you're paying $12 for a chibi. You can give me the money up front. I'm hoping to get those kiosks cranked out though as fast as I can so I can actually go back into working on some of my other projects. I still really want to uh, finish the 2D version of my model here. I'm using my eraser to draw again. Nothing's happening. Did you guys know if you draw with an eraser, nothing happens? Shocking, isn't it? You smell like grass, sir. Wong ran past me in the background. I guess her lawn is all mowed. hate the concept of manicured lawns. I know why. Uh, it was a status thing. Uh, royalty in French, in France, I believe it was started, where they were like, we want land, but we don't have anything to do with it, but we just want to take it from the peasants, so we're just going to make it, like, pretty looking lawn. But I don't think manicured lawns are that pretty. I prefer it with, like, flowers and overgrowth and stuff. It looks better that way. The national, na natural biodiversity. I can English, guys, I swear. Actually, Wong and I have spent a lot of time looking into uh, non-grass alternatives to lawns. I'm making these 
tired. I really want to put on my pajamas too, but I gotta wait till after. My hands a lot shakier today than it usually is too. She caught the night. Not sure if I'll be streaming with Long tonight. If so, what we will be. I kind of hope we play some more Alien. I want to watch more of that game. I'm curious where it's going. It definitely is not anything like the Alien movie that I remember. I also like watching him scream. <laughs> For those of you guys who have watched me play tons of Phasma, now you you have probably noticed that I don't really scream. The ghost will show up right in front of me and I'll just be like, oh hey, there you are. More Tasmo Plansmo? What does that mean? Oh, Phasma! <laughs> Yeah, I want to play more Phasma with you again, Toifu. It's fun. Oh, okay. I, I I don't know. My brain not always here. I also want to try that new uh, ghost game too. I can't remember what it's called. It's in my wish list on Amazon or on uh, Amazon on Steam. All the games I'm like these sound interesting. I just throw them in there. But it's like it's like Phasma except for you can also you also have to actually exercise the ghost. Yeah, like you put them on a treadmill. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, the other kind of exorcise, not exercise. Like the pea soup type. Yeah, like, I saw it had, like, a free trial, but I couldn't find it. Ring fit ghost hunting, oh man, that would be great. I could just see, like, some of you guys' hearts getting up so high. Dude, mention that to Nintendo. Tell them we need ring fit ghost hunting. Spirit away from the ghost. Sprint. That makes more sense. I can't read. Sprint away from the ghost. I had to chase a treasure chest today and I was like, no, please not. My knee. It got away from me and I was like, that's fine. Like I guess that I probably shouldn't have even done it today anyways, but I was like, I haven't worked out. I did do it yesterday because I knew I was going to be packing 28 boxes. That's okay. I know Saturday AM I have, uh, well AM, like afternoon, uh, one to three, I have my uh, uh, second Japanese lesson. I don't blame you. Actually, uh, my dad is going to Vegas pretty soon. And he asked my mother to take him to and from the airport. And she's like, well, I'll pick you up from the airport. But we're both wearing masks. And then I'm taking you right away to get a COVID test. <laughs> I don't blame her. Ah, I hit my layer. sensible thing to do like I kind of want to go visit some friends in Indy not that I have money to go anywhere right now but I figured like maybe if I can have enough after I pay my bills this month and I have if I have enough money left for gas I could go see them but I'm like I don't know I would just drive but is it safe they're all vaccinated but I don't know what they're like you know it's just too much 
I would definitely get a COVID test if I did anything like that. Yeah, well, luckily, um, they live on the south side of Indy. We probably would just hang out at their house, which makes it easier. Not like Indy is particularly, um, you know, exciting. I just haven't seen them in forever and really want to see them. Especially because, so, like, Time Hop has been mean lately because it's been showing me, like, all my con photos with them from like cons in the past. And then two years ago, uh, Wong and I were in Japan. So it's also showing me that. And I was like, God damn it, I want to go back. Mother Ikisai. Not just because of Mr. Donut. Although that did become a joke thing where I was taking pictures of Mr. Donut and Ronafe was like, you should totally take pictures of all of Mr. Donuts, so I did. I feel like all the places are getting like that now, though. Which is one of the reasons I'm, like, really worried. Like, even, like, I have friends on my friends list on Facebook that are like, oh, yeah, like, we went to cons, or we're doing this, and I'm like, I'm not even gonna go to a con. At, at this point, I... <sighs> C2E2 is still the only one I would even look at, and I'm probably just going to say it now and just be like, no, no cons for this year. I do want to go and do a photo shoot of my new swimsuit that came in, but I'm also like, Ugh. I asked somebody who, uh, I asked a couple people who have gone to the beach, like, how is it? And they're like, it's really crowded. And I was like, I don't want to be by people. I don't have like a pool I can use as a backdrop. But it's okay, I don't really need to. I just, I feel bad because my cosplay stuff has gotten like no love this year because I haven't had money to make new cosplay. Um, I have all the stuff for my version of 2B but, that I'm gonna make, but I'm like, I gained some weight so I'm trying to lose it before I actually make her. Yeah, I mean, we do have, <laughs> we will have a hot tub for a while, yeah. But yeah just weird how are hotels handling um, stuff with that by the way Twaifu since I know you've gone to a few hotels and I know you were very uh, good at handling the pandemic stuff as far as keeping yourself and others safe oh oh that well huh uh, so her reaction was ha 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 I was just curious. Now I'm kind of scared. Well, I... Oh. Yeah, that's always what I was worried about. Except on check-in. Oh my god. I mean, I know they cleaned the rooms to an extent, but I don't know. I'm just worried about everything. Oh, okay, good. Breakfast delivery, yeah. Yeah, so um, one of the buffets, well, one of the buffets in my area has been open for a while now, and another one is opening up this month, I guess it's already open. And I'm just like, why guys? Like, that cannot be safe at all. Unless they're doing it more of like a cafeteria style thing, but even still, I, I just know how many people are not wearing masks and I haven't gone out to eat in a restaurant at all because of that. Like, the... yeah, I, I doubt it. That's just it, I'm like, uh, they all make me really like, Ew. Now, like, if, uh, uh, I guess if one had, like, outdoor eating and they were really far apart, I might be willing to do that, but that would be about it. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just can't see buffets being safe anytime soon. I really like them, though. I really like food, guys, in case you really hadn't noticed. This is why Pandemic Way got me. But I'm not sure. Hi, cat. All right, Arata's attacking my leg. He wants me to pet him. Ah! Arata, stop attacking me! He's headbutting me. Baby hey, boy, what you doing? What you doing? You can't come up on my lap right now. I can't sit and draw with you up on my lap. really mind the drive to Indy um, depending on what part of Indy it is. I do definitely find it easier than the drive to Chicago, but anytime you go to a city, like people just forget how to drive, I swear. Yeah, I don't like the semi-trucks, for sure. Oh, yeah, depending, I want to say, based on the time you guys went, you probably got hit with more of them, too. I would always go at really weird hours when I went, so... hand is making weird noises against the tablet for some reason. I don't like it. But, well, I mean, considering I have been um, literally run off the road by a semi-truck before, I'm not super keen on uh, semis, period. But yeah, even, uh, there, was, there was a time for a while, like, uh, before I met Wong and everything, where I would just be like, I have free days. I'm just going to drive down to Indy. Goodbye, family. Because I still lived at home, so I would just go uh, spend the weekend with friends in Indy. Just to get out of the house. It's like, you know, two-hour drive, whatever. It's Now that they moved, they're uh, further south. They're on the south side of Indy instead of north side, though, so it's like closer to two and a half. Which isn't a whole lot of difference, but it does mean now I have to go through Indy and deal with that traffic sometimes. Well, this has been for a while. They moved a, a, long, a long time ago, but I, I, I've known them for so long that when I first met them, I think I met them in... Gosh, when did I meet them? It was before I knew Wong, so it has to have been more than seven years ago. Don't worry, some people are moving so far away. So far. Sarcasm. Yay, I think I got his hair done! Woo! My ears hurt. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm glad you moved closer. I see you a lot more now, obviously. Wong move closer to because obviously he also used to live down further. I know, right? I wonder why. Actually, it's a it's a kind of a joke thing I have with Wong where um 
because he was always like uh when we were talking about things wanting to happen or whatever um it kind of became a thing that like if i ever said it it would come true but in a horrible way so like for instance uh one of the times we went to the auto show we saw his car in red and i was like i like it better in red and then his silver car got totaled and then i was like man i wish he would move closer and then he lost his job <laughs> and ended up finding a job closer but yeah like oh my god i am the curse there's a phrase for that but i don't remember what it is no, no, he actually got fired or let go. Um, basically, if I remember exactly, which I can't ask him because he's in the shower right now, but it was one of those where, like, they brought him on because they wanted him to do uh, web commerce. And then after, like, two months, they were like, well, we haven't seen any drastic increases in our sales, so we don't want you anymore. Like, wow, two months is definitely enough to figure that out. In case you guys don't know, that was sarcasm. It's not. Uh, my specialty may be design, but I had a lot of marketing classes that go along with that. Don't expect things to happen that fast. Uh, he did actually switch, like, once he got the job in Chicago, now he switched jobs after a while for that. That one was him switching. Man, I wish I could say I, I, I was the one who uh, quit my job, but I wasn't, sadly. I got let go because we didn't have enough work at the beginning of the pandemic. I still have my classes at least, but they don't, they're, they're not consistent and it's good pay per hour, but I don't have a lot of hours. Speaking of classes, one of my students drew a picture of me yesterday. I don't know why she just did. It was very cute though. I have it. I forgot to take a photo of it to show you why. Mostly because I left it in my um, plastic art folder that's still in my bag. And I just kind of yeet my whole bag into, a, as I like to call it, the Harry Potter hole as uh, when I get back from class. Cause I'm like, I'm tired by that point and I just don't want to do stuff. But yeah. Try not to make his mouth look too shaky. comment on uh, Facebook a couple a few days back about how I keep every single piece of art that I've ever gifted and it's true I do um, if they're digital I just have to save them obviously but I have folders of, especially of those kiosks because I got a lot of those kiosk fan art over the years so I have folders upon folders of that stuff but um, when I used to babysit, uh, when I was a lot younger, I got a lot of art from the kids that I babysat. So I have all of them still. As you can see, I'm an art aficionado. No, I'm kidding. I just like uh, art. And it means a lot to me, I think, uh, when you know somebody draws something for you, they're taking a lot of time with it, or a lot of effort. And they don't have to do that. Ah! Oh my gosh, RTD. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. Talk about a wake up call. Actually, I remember the uh, first piece of fan art I ever got from those kiosks really well. 
Ooh, I'm sure they're cute. Cause I remember seeing them before. But um, I had a a girl from Russia was the first one that ever used this kiosk fan art, and that was this kiosk had only been going for like two weeks at the time. And she messaged, she sent me an email and was like, "Oh man, my comic has a similar concept, and it's totally different, and it's in Russian, but it still has the whole thing with dimension and uh, dimension bleh, dimensional gates and like people taking care of them and people using magic." And she really liked the character Umishin, so that was my first piece of fan art. And now everyone's like, Umishin is a dork. <laughs> oh no! Good luck, Tribu. I hope they fit. I don't think I could swing kid sizes, but my feet are bigger. I can swing kid sizes for shirts. Because I barely have boobs. I can wear uh, extra large boy shirts. I don't know about girls. I've never tried girls because I always wanted like Marvel and dinosaur shirts. So those are not stuff you usually find in girls. Yeah, I remember you were telling us about that because you're like, I want these, and they keep selling out. Hopefully they fit. But you have, like I said, you have smaller feet than me. I was actually very surprised I was able to get the uh, Sailor Moon shoes back when I got them because they were, you know, were mostly smaller sizes, even in adults, but they're, they're, they technically went to the size I usually go to. Cause so, um, in us shoes, I wear a size eight, but I like to usually buy at least a size nine because of my pernio. Um, and quick rundown for those of you who are not, uh, familiar with that. It is a disease in which when I am exposed to extreme temperatures, which we get all the time in winter here, um, or even in summer, uh, my toes and, or my extremities will swell up, which is specifically my hands and feet, including like my toes and stuff. So I just usually buy shoes a size bigger so I can offset that and then just wear thicker socks. But yeah, so um, they didn't, the Sailor Moon shoes, the uh, largest size they had were an eight and they fit, they fit. They're not, they're pretty comfortable, but in winter I have more trouble wearing them. Yeah, I also have wider feet too, which I don't think helps. That's definitely a European thing. Freaking European jeans. I was actually using uh, my, my Sailor Moon shoes as, or, well, I have the Sailor Venus ones, of course. I was using them as my uh, indoor workout shoes because I can't, like when I do ring fit, I can't do it barefoot. I have to put shoes on, otherwise it hurts my uh, ankles way too much. probably go with tennis shoes. Why are you going to go with sandals for Disney trips? Please explain, por favor. Onigashimasu. Water rides! That makes a lot of sense. I don't think I've ever found a really perfectly comfy pair of sandals. Oh, no, I take that back. I lied. I did. So, um, back when I used to do a lot of One Piece cosplays and a lot of Nami, um, Nami's base form has like, you know, orange sandals or whatever. Well, I found a pair of orange sandals at a wig shop nearby us and I ended up buying it and it was like the most freaking comfortable pair of shoes I've ever owned. It had like no support or anything, so I don't know why, it just was. Uh, maybe I will check out the sandals at Na Naturalizer in the future. I know you have said that you got a lot of shoes from them. I don't really own a lot of pairs of shoes. Oh, I take that back. Okay, I don't wear own a lot of pairs of shoes that I wear in every day. I wear, own a lot of cosplay shoes. Some of them I do make use of, like the boots that I have for the base of my Pura and then uh, my Mordred boots, or both pairs of Mordred boots for both casual and third ascension. I do actually try to wear out every once in a while. Oh yeah, I always read reviews before I buy anything anyways. Speaking of reviews, um, 
<laughs> Wong and I were uh, looking up reviews on uh, on a moving place uh, a couple weeks back, and uh, one of them had one negative review, and the negative review was basically the soup wasn't very good and the service was slow for a moving place. It had nothing to do with soup. Anyways, I just thought that was funny. I'm using the eraser again, aren't I? And they had soup for the movers. I know, like I was like, Wong, we should go with them so we can get some soup. It's okay if it's not good soup, it's free. <laughs> they spill all the soup on your boxes. Okay, I probably wouldn't like that much though. I just thought that was great. Cause yeah, even the uh, the place that, um, you know, the owner or whatever responded, he's like, well, um, we appreciate your honesty, but this is not, uh, we, we were pretty sure you got your review mixed up with a different place. So we'd appreciate it also if you could like, you know, take it off. We, we're, we're a moving company. We don't have soup. I feel like if for some reason we ever want with them, I would like to leave a review and give them an honest review, but then add, sadly, there was no soup. They had really good reviews, so chances are they'd probably be good. Yeah, I know I don't have all the glasses uh, done. I'm gonna do them on a different layer. The lenses. I'm weird about how I do lenses. Probably gonna stand for like another 15 minutes and then get off and uh, do some last minute straightening up. Maybe figure out what I'm doing for dinner. Plus I assume Wong, I think Wong is done with his shower. Mm, can I make that eyebrow too big? All right, weird noises, here I come. I like how my uh, avatar was like, I can't even track that. We all know what everyone wants, and it's Bonk Wong. <laughs> I love how many people have messaged me, and they're like, I have bonk enough Bonk Wong points. I'm saving them for, like, the next joint stream or the next karaoke stream. Like, oh, my God. Which, by the way, guys, the next karaoke stream is with Wong again. It's August 21st. It will be uh, part of a relay, I believe, with a uh, firearm in the gang again, so. Time shall tell. And then all the bonking shall be had. Much bonking, much wow. Can I just get like the angry goose from Untitled Goose Game and bonk him with that all the time? Peace was never an option.
I made that two curls? Ah! Thank you for the raid! Fit? Right? Fit, you're already done? Hi! What's wrong, Ronafe? It's that's early for you. Are you okay? I figured I'd be able to raid you. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Maybe one of these days, Ranafe, we should try to do a Copic uh, collab too. That, that's going to be a lot more difficult to set up than the digital one, but. <laughs> I still need to buy some more refills, but I got a bunch of blues. And then to make it even better, uh, for Christmas, Kitten got me a pack of just blues. So I have uh, some uh, sketch blues now. I have more blues. Yeah, it's great. And the first time I got to use them was for this, this kiosk stuff, which is like, oh my gosh, Umi should have his real hair color now. Light's eyes look normal. Yeah, I went a little crazy a while back and bought a bunch of refills. And then I couldn't find my gift card for Blick and I was really sad and then I found it again after I bought them. But I'm gonna need more. I also wanna get a new sketchbook for uh, Ink October this year too. Cause I was using a little journal but I finally filled it up, so. I'm glad it wasn't something serious though, just Copics. Art problems. One of the best discoveries I have made about cleaning up Copics during this uh, pandemic is uh, hand sanitizer cleans them off very well. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know though. Maybe you're just, I, I panic weird, okay? Like when I panic, I do dumb things like that. Yeah, the al I used to just, like I have alcohol wipes specifically for them. But yeah, I, I was, uh, I can't remember what I was doing and I got like, it just bled all over it. I, it might've been during Ink October even. Cause yeah, I was that weirdo who was like, oh, you're gonna trick or treat, here's some freaking hand sanitizer. I didn't actually go to the door at all. I just left uh, hand sanitizer out. Ah, mo gucha gucha da yo. Ah, Isuru, please stop yelling at me. Hey, why are you not want to make a new layer? There it goes. Okay. Isuru is being mean to me. This is white, right? Yeah, that doesn't look white, but whatever. I mean, I'm the person who uh, cut my hand open really badly in one of my classes and just continued to teach. And then later I was like, I probably should have gone and gotten stitches. Oh well. Yeah, so to explain the story behind that, um, oftentimes I have to cut paper in my class because they don't really have uh, good paper sizes for uh, the stuff I need. So um, I was cutting paper and I realized I didn't have it set uh, quite right. So instead of being normal, and grabbing the handle, I grabbed the blade with my hand and cut right into my uh, the, the skin between the thumb and the first finger and cut really deep. Yeah. I, I like, I guess, hurting myself. All right, more weird noises. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, 
You have been graced with weird noises from Wong, too. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to add weird noises to his channel. I've also been trying to get uh, Kitten to add a camera check to her channel because I want to spend my points on something besides getting her cat fat. Otherwise, all I will do is spend point my points on giving cats treats. RCD, are you going to do some weird... Are you? Maybe you should do like a raccoon noise for uh, a redemption. Like your raccoon noise. If you guys have heard, haven't heard uh, RTD's uh, rack, the like, the RTD noise he makes, it's hilarious. I can't replicate it well, but it's like blah, blah, blah. see, I can't do it at all. Okay, Shia LaBeouf, we see you there. Do it. Just do it. Okay, cool. I got uh, his face done. Yeah, nice. Go back to black. Black, black. Honestly, the crazy, the crazy uh, redemptions are the best. Personally, I like to be entertained, don't you? <laughs> I hit the wrong layer. Oops. Yeah, that. Understandable. Why don't you want to pet the cat? Everyone wants to pet the cat. Pet, pet the kitty. I want to pet the kitty. Kitty is pretty. Something like that. It was Oscar's book about cats when he was learning how to read. Don't worry, guys. I'm full of outdated 90s references, and that's about it. what big eyes you have, the better to eat you with! I should mention that's my retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. It's like, my, what big ears you have, the better to eat you with. My, what big eyes you have, the better to eat you with. <laughs> my, what big teeth you have, definitely the better to eat you with. Don't worry guys, I'm as crazy as I sound. And one of my favorite ways to mess up a joke, um, which it actually came to existing, this this particular uh, wordplay 
whatever came into existence on a very long car drive with my mother back when we used to go to like 14 to 16 hour car rides for cons and uh we were having a serious conversation initially we were talking about the difference between a harpsichord and a piano or actually specifically we were talking about stringed instruments and then she was like do you know the difference between a harpsichord and a piano and me in my ultimate 3 a.m wisdom on caffeine and not much else was like you can tune a piano but you can't tune a fish <laughs> But actually, the difference between a harpsichord and a piano, legitly, is that a piano, uh, it, the reason one is a, a percussion and a, one is a string, the piano is a percussion because it like uh, hits the, the thingies to make the notes and the harpsichord plucks them like strings. Yeah. See, I know things. But I also know you. You can't tune a fish. And mayonnaise is not an instrument. I wish I could write music better too. I'm actually tone deaf, but as long as I have background music uh, with me, it's it's kind of hard to notice. But yeah, me singing a cappella is pretty awful. And even with background music, sometimes I mess up. You can ask Wong how long it took him to fix me on a uh, king. I do have another cover I want to do, but I've been, uh, you know, trying to get other stuff done before I do it. So sorry, guys, if that disappoints you. Oh, excuse me. I'm drinking a, a soda, so. I'm drawing this and all I can think about is we were talking about centipedes the other day. Kinda looks like a centipede now. Oh, you wanna see the centipede I drew? Wanna see the centipede I drew? He's like, no. <laughs> it's an eye. But yeah, we were actually discussing specifically the difference in uh, 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 bio like uh, you know, animals and insects in uh, in um, in uh, like Midwest versus Hawaii. I'm not a big fan of centipedes either. They don't scare me, but I don't particularly like them. really weird but I, I for some reason um, associate them with like decomposing bodies even though that's not what centipedes are at all I do like spiders though Especially tarantulas, they're so cute. And fuzzy. And they crawl on your hand. They're good boys. No, I do not own a tarantula. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure some of my friends would never come visit me. Also, they are expensive. Um, not super easy to maintain. And I have cats. I'd rather have the cats.
Probably should have done that at the same time, but you know. What's the point of doing things the right, the smart way, right? causes me anxiety when I watch people who are doing art and they don't label their layers or even do things on multiple layers. It also causes me anxiety when uh, Wong and Spiker run around with no health left for dead. better at doing the entire line art digitally but I still like to do it by a lot of times I still do it by hand first at least the sketch obviously this one I did not but in the new egg shuffle. Sad. No graphic card for me today. Babies, sleeping babies. got a long way to go but meow I got me out at oh, that's the start uh, of Hughes and his daughter Alicia Gracia Alicia 
Which one is his daughter? Which one is his wife? It's been a while. Anyways, yeah, so that, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and get off so I can get stuff ready for my appointment. Um, as far as upcoming streams go, um, I don't know what if we're doing anything tonight, so uh, maybe I'll see you around later, maybe not. I do know tomorrow we will be doing a sudden collab stream uh, with Pimple Goku and uh, Garlic. I don't even know what we're playing anymore because it's it's an art, like a uh, Chinese telephone type game. What is it called? Uh, oh. Like, uh, you know, the phone game where you, you say something and then it gets thing. Uh, there's there's a board game like it, too, but I'm blanking on the name. Mm, we used to play stuff like that all the time with kids. But, yeah, I, I he keeps calling it garlic, so now I can't actually remember the name. Gartic phone, thank you. He keeps calling it garlic phone. <laughs> no, I think it's garlic. <laughs> garlic there is no garlic involved or is there and then um this saturday is uh the next japanese lesson aka now i will be doing one once a month thanks to you guys voting and everything and the first one went over so well uh it is 1 to 3 p.m central time it will be following rana phase stream so you guys can check her out first um we will be covering hiragana uh and yeah that's uh that's it so it'll be like a two-hour stream with that other than that, guys, have a good night!